Bernie Sanders may have burned Hillary Clinton's campaign ideas in Iowa, at least for now. But plenty of fires were seemingly put out earlier today when the Justice Department gave Clinton supporters a moment to stick their tongue out at Republicans and say, told you so, over allegedly deleted emails. However, as is the standard for American politics in following the Clinton trail, this is far from the final stroke of decision on this matter and a whole lot more. Let's welcome back veteran political commentator and co-author of Power Grab, Obama's dangerous plan for a one-party nation, Dick Morris. All right, Dick, you and I both know that you've got Democrats sitting there right now going, hold on, everybody, the Justice Department says Hillary Clinton did not break the law in deleting her emails. You know they're sticking their tongue out right now, but it's going to be pretty short-lived, may it not? Yeah, well, that was a submission of one side of a case. Uh, the other side is going to answer, uh, I think, Judicial Watch, and the judge is going to make a decision as to whether she violated the law and whether she has to produce those documents. That will decide the law, not the position of one of the parties to the lawsuit, particularly not when it's obviously this administration. What about those people, though, who say, all right, Dick, you and the Republicans, everybody's been hammering away at Hillary, but this is at least a stopping point here right now. We don't have to worry about this. And hey, this may actually no. lead to some other exoneration of Hillary Clinton. Not me saying that, Dick, but you know right now that's what the left is crowing. Yeah, but nobody's saying that the maintenance of a server by itself was illegal. That's a complete st straw man. All we're saying is that if you have your own server and there are classified materials that flow into it, remain on it, and are sent from it, you are violating the law just as much as Petraeus was when he put them in his desk drawer. And there are now over a hundred emails which when they're released have to be redacted because there's so much sensitive material on them that have come from Hillary's server. Uh, that's the legal jeopardy she's in, not that she had the server. This is answering a, a phony charge, a straw man. Dick, what would you believe that the next domino will be to fall in this whole email server legal investigative issue? I think that each month there's a Chinese water torture, drip, 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 of additional emails coming out. And each time they come out, there are new issues raised, new questions, all kinds of new things come up. And uh, Hillary handles it worse and worse each time. But when I look at the dominoes that are going to fall, I think the main domino is Hillary's poll numbers. Uh, in the last national poll, she gets 42% of the vote. She had formerly been getting in the 67, 68. That means that 58% of the Democratic primary voters are voting against her. 22% for Sanders, 20 for Biden, and the rest undecided or for one of the other candidates. That's a huge reversal for her and puts her in very bad shape. And today's a pretty pivotal day. Uh, the president is traveling with Jill Biden. And um, I think there may be an effort there to make sure that she, that her husband runs. The interesting thing about Hillary right now is we just saw some videotape of her dancing with Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, and she has been coming out trying to be warm, fuzzy, grandmotherly. I mean, come on, Dick, let's be honest. Whether it's left, right, or anybody else, if you have to reset a campaign so many times and you have to try and reconvince people who you are, aren't you pretty much saying that, We've really lost at this point. We don't know what else to do now to try to get people to like us. Yeah, I, th that's true, Ed, but it's worse than that. The act of changing, the act of trying to come on to a new group with a new image and a new Hillary being coming out for the 800th time, underlines her duplicity, her lack of authenticity, her lack of sincerity, uh, that she's a liar and that she's dishonest. It underscores all of that. It's an example of all of that, an innocent one sometimes, but still an example. Dick, why is it that a lot of members of the media, you just use the word liar, and I'm fond of that word, if it fits. You have to use it when it fits. Why is it that many people, even on the right, are afraid still to use the word liar with Hillary Clinton? Well, I'm not, I'm quoting it. There are quotes around that word. Uh, when they asked a thousand people in the United States, by Quinnipiac to sure. what word or phrase comes first to your mind when you think of Hillary Clinton. 182 of the thousands said liar. 
So and more said dishonest, and, and crooked, dishon a thief. <laughs> <laughs> they were just adding words Taking on choice. it. And then again, don't forget, Dick, we've been told the polls mean absolutely nothing at this point. So uh, let's see where we go from here. Look, about 60 seconds I got left here. I wanted to get your opinion here on the Obamacare latest. The House Republicans won their opening round in the lawsuit against the president over their claim that his administration spent money for health insurers under the Affordable Care Act without receiving needed approval by Congress. All right, Dick, about 60 seconds we got. Put that into English for the American voter right now and tell us what that means. Well, there are a series of Obamacare lawsuits over procedural matters in terms of how the money was appropriated. There's that one, there's that the bill didn't originate in the House, as the Constitution says it should. But, you know, we've had a lot of district courts that have raised false hopes because they get reversed on appeal. And if there's one thing that's pretty damn certain, it's that this United States Supreme Court is not going to knock Obamacare, no matter what the fact pattern is. And that's one of the reasons why we need to be sure we have a Republican president who appoints Republican judges, not like Bush in appointing Roberts. So it sounds like you're saying that this is news, but it's not big news. I don't think it is. The big news today is that the Democratic Party slit its throat by opposed by supporting the Iran deal. Uh, that deal had a two to one popularity when it was signed. It's now two to one negative. It'll be five to one by the time the campaign comes and people know about the secret protocols that Obama's not releasing. Uh, this deal is a horrible deal. And it's front and center Hillary's deal because she was Secretary of State. Yep. And this is absolutely going to massacre the Democrats in the fall. Here's something else people need to know. Learn more about what is behind the president. Power Grab, Obama's dangerous plan for a one-party nation. Make sure to get your copy now. Go to PowerGrab411.com. Dick Morris, always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank we'll you. talk to you real soon. Coming up next, that Iranian nuclear deal and what American Jews believe is the death knell for Israel on the hard line.